a very good morning to all looking at important headlines from the hindu newspaper for 12th march on the front page you have covid 19 now a pandemic says world health organization india confirms 60 cases there are over 1 lakh 18000 positive cases which have been reported globally across 114 countries now so world health organization has declared it a pandemic now it is said more than 90% of the cases were in just four countries so here you can see so it is china japan south korea italy which have been suffering the most but the virus has spread across the globe and here you have jyotiraditya skindia joins bjp says congress is in denial denial he praises the leadership of prime minister narendra modi then below you have suspension of seven congress mps revoked so the lok sabha has passed a resolution revoking the suspension of seven congress members with immediate effect so this resolution was moved by minister of state for parliament and with this the mps can now return to the house and this is role of lieutenant governor and government intervene so this is what madras high court has said and it said they have they are expected to act in unison so this is the conflict between the lieutenant governor who is appointed by the center and the government in the union territory of puducherry where uh, conflicts have been seen when the different political parties are ruling at the center and in the union territory but the madras high court says that they are have to work together they expected to act in unison on page 6 you have Go for peace deal with or without NSC and IM. So, a conglomerate of seven Naga extremist groups have asked the Indian government to sign the prolonged peace deal at the earliest, with or without NSC and IM, which uh, has not come on board. So, several rounds of talks have been taking place between the centre and NSC and IM since the truce was declared by it in 1997 by NSC and IM. but then the talks have been inconclusive despite an agreement signed a framework agreement signed in august 2015 then this is pil for ban on pellet guns dismissed so this was a public interest litigation seeking ban on use of pellet shotguns on protesters in jammu and kashmir so of course bullets are used when a war is being fought but these pellet guns are used on uh, a civilian as such so these pellet guns have resulted in eye injuries and loss of eye in many cases so this is a pil seeking ban on this but jammu and kashmir high court has dismissed it and says forces have to necessarily use force in self defense on page 9 you have states to be asked to invoke epidemic disease act so center has constituted a gum group of ministers to review the steps taken by for management of covid-19 coronavirus disease so it has been decided that all states union territories should be advised to invoke provisions of section 2 of epidemic disease act of 1897 so that all advisories been issued from time to time by the ministry or uh, state or union territory are enforceable So even Indian Medical Association has said that sharing data of infected people on a daily basis with the public has created panic across the country, and it appealed to the government to classify the data of the pandemic and take appropriate action with clinical precision. So, revealing data actually gives an assurance of what is the true situation. Hiding data would result in further speculation. But Indian Medical Association has given this statement. then even international federation of the red cross unicef world health organization have issued new guidelines to help protect children and schools from transmission of covid-19 you can see it advises national and local level authorities on how to adapt and implement emergency plans for educational facilities so in, in the event of school closure guidance includes recommendations to mitigate against the possible negative impacts on children's learning and well-being So if schools uh, opt for uh, closing down, then the, the negative impact should of uh, children's on children's learning is also to be taken care of. Then below you have Supreme Court comes down on sexual harassment at workplace. So sexual harassment of women at workplace is an affront to their fundamental right to equality and life with dignity, is what Supreme Court has stated in this ruling. 
and uh, this was regarding a woman bank officer uh, and she had complained about irregularities and corruption which resulted in you know uh, the, uh, that she was transferred out from indore to jabalpur and she said she was also sexually harassed by her senior officers on editorial page the first editorial is a royal somersault so this is regarding jyotiraditya skindia's departure from congress and his joining of bjp so this switch to bjp it says poses questions about the politics he professed until now so what is the ideology that he believes in is being questioned then this is for a level playing field so this is regarding election commission of india's plans to strengthen the electoral process are welcome they has given some recommendations but some require scrutiny so the recommendations of election commission of india are detailed out here so voters electoral participation has been robust but poor voting uh, uh, whether poor voting two candidates and winners have largely been from affluent section and some even have criminal cases against them so these have to be checked so that is why process of reforms in elections is essential electoral reforms are essential but then the recommendations which have been given some are been uh, called for scrutiny in this editorial so here you can see eci is considering tightening ways to cap the expenditure of parties so that is welcome it should provide more level playing field but it says uh, more transparency in campaign financing is what should be done that uh, electoral bond system is untenable so this electoral bond system has been criticized by the editorial and election commission of india has also suggested bring social media and print media under the silent period ambit so you know, camp after the campaigning ends even uh, social media campaigning should not be allowed but regulating social media will be difficult so how the eci implements it the election commission of india implements it will be seen also election commission of india wants new safe and secure voting methods so it says the use now of the evm as a stand alone one time programmable chip based system along with administrative safeguards you know renders it a safe mechanism that is not vulnerable to hacking any other online form of voting that is based on network system should be avoided So the idea of aadhar linked remote voting system that is sought to be built as a prototype would be pro problematic because the ui unique identity card has excluded genuine beneficiaries when used in welfare schemes so it has inherent vulnerability in its recognition mechanism too so aadhar linking to electoral cards electoral list as such is being questioned then uh, it says two key measures that are missing from the recommendations of election commission of india are need for more teeth for the election commission in its fight against vote buying and hate speeches and also parties that have resorted to bribing voters in the form of money or the com commodities in return for votes uh, uh, how election commission can be strengthened that has not been stated so that was seen during the hate speeches before lok sabha elections too So that is where it doesn't have much powers. It seems so stricter norms, including disqualification of candidate, would be needed for true deterrence. So that has not been recommended for by the election commission itself. Then the lead article is fail safe exit for America, but a worry for India. So this talks about how India seems to be the only entity on the losing end in Afghan's un Afghanistan's unfolding game of chess and patience. so when usa moves out india will be worried because with usa's exist pakistan usa's exit pakistan will get an upper hand in afghanistan with its closeness to taliban so taliban will be getting an upper hand so that will be a worry for india so that is spoken of here and this is covid 19 control plan made simple so this article says that uh, india needs a dedicated disaster management operation with prime minister at the helm a control plan which will ensure that corona virus does not spread in the country then on the opet page you have ruling against judicial transparency so this is regarding a recent supreme court verdict that has barred candidate citizens from accessing court records under the rti act 
So this is a recent decision in Chief Information Commissioner versus High Court of Gujarat case. The Supreme Court regrettably barred citizens from securing access to court. So court records cannot be accessed. Instead, the court held that such records can be accessed only through the rules laid down by each High Court under Article 225 of the Constitution. Even the Registry of the Supreme Court was litigating a similar case before the Delhi High Court for several years, after which the CIC had ordered it to provide copies of pleadings filed in the case under the RTI Act, rather than insisting on litigants filing an application under the Supreme Court. So why under Supreme Court rules and High Court rules uh, information should be demanded? Why not under RTI? Why judiciary cannot come under RTI and bring in transparency? Is a question raised here. And this is economic uncertainty rises. So, supply shocks from China have caused fall in production and decline in demand, leading to fears of recession. So this article speaks about that. On international page, you have this coverage on coronavirus, on uh, the hashtag MeToo case of Weinstein. He really has been sentenced to 23 years in jail. So, we have covered it. We don't need to you know, pursue it every day. And then this is also regarding coronavirus in, Pal in Sri Lanka, in UK. Then here you have parliament passes amendment allowing Putin to stay in power. So this is regarding Vladimir Putin. So constitutional changes allowing Vladimir Putin to run for president again in 2024 have been passed in Russia's lower house of parliament. So this will open the way for him to potentially stay in power till 2036. And this is regarding US presidential elections, the primary, secondaries, which would take place. You don't need to follow it regularly. And here you have Myanmar army blocks bid to limit their power base. So this is Myanmar's military. It quashed a proposal in parliament that would mean its MPs relinquish powers. So this was a vote pitting the armed forces in open opposition against the Aung San Suu Kyi as election means. So the vote was a climax of a year of fierce debates between MPs as a civilian government attempted to as a civilian government attempted to reform the constitution and reduce the military strangle, uh, stranglehold on parliament. So elections will be held later in 2020. Then the second since outright military rule came to an end, but military uh, members still continue to be part of the parliament. So they have considerable power. They appoint three key ministers, the defense minister, border minister and home affairs minister. Then on business page you have industry starts sneezing from impact of virus. So coronavirus has resulted in supply chain problems, hampering auto automobile production. Then gems, jewelry exports have dropped. Pesticide sector has been hit by input issues. So, yeah. Then here you have allow temporary write down of Yes Bank's additional tier 1 bonds. So Association of Mutual Funds of India has written to RBI and SEBI to allow fund houses a temporary write down of additional tier 1 bonds of Yes Bank to avoid a huge hit on the net asset value of schemes that hold such bonds. So the industry body has written to the bank, RBI that uh, after the proposed restructuring scheme of the troubled private sector bank, yes, bank, uh, such bonds would be permanently written off. So, as an industry body, it has written so that uh, these bonds, you know, uh, the temporary write down of these should take place to avoid hit on the net asset value. Not, they should not be permanently written off. So, that is it. These are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.